Hi there, my name is Just welcome to Event 7 of the Marble League. Uh, the shot put thing, but yeah, it's shot put. Uh, so we'll start off in this funnel, and head down to this funnel, which leads into the jump, into the launcher, where now you must throw the softball as far as you can, and in a decent non-lateral way. So if it falls off, it's out, un unless if three fall out, so it's the farthest ghost wins, and if you make it past the wall, you automatically fit, and if three make it, uh, if you three make it past the end of the board, then the first two time-wise advance, so time is relatively important, but I doubt we're going to get three finishers. So we're competing in this event, we have Rojo Trace, Foggy, Aurora, and Squirt, Mocha, Glace, Cerulean and Shock, Fiery, no Fire, and Indy, Rizzy, and Minty Squirrel, then B, Slime Lime, Mo, and Mama Legend, who are the Mama Legend, the latter, competing for Leaning Team Animal Alliance, who are out in front by 20 points over the Limers. Indigo Stars, Tasers, Momo, Klein Glaciers, Thunderbolts, and Cobalts. And dead last are the Bumblebees, who have a streak of 14th places that ended. Chocolatiers, meanwhile, are on a streak of 13th places, and they've lost out to the Turtle Sires now. So let's get ready. So we have them up top ready to reach, but what's going to matter is how they launch a softball colored like the team member into the board. So we'll keep the camera here. Otherwise, it's just going to be a little bit of chaos for the film. Of course, he's our sliders make their way onto the board. Then some falling off. Sunrise is joining in that. Now, who's going to be able to throw the. Now, who's going to be able to control, curl their way back to be the farthest two? Hazers. Slightly in front of Sunrise has still advanced with the turtle sliders. So, Sunrises and Rojo Rollers are knocked out. And the fifth. In the fourth place team in the championship is going to be able to move on to the second round. So next up we have two players two. Get their off. The roller is ready to launch into Chocolatiers and Klein Glaciers. Able to move on to the board. Sometimes we get a DNF on the board and we nearly see that from Cerulean. Now, Thunderbolts. Oh, you get messed up there by the Cobalts, who now have to try to stay ahead of the Thunderbolts, and Cobalts are going to advance ahead of the Thunderbolts, and with the Glying Glaciers, and Chocolatiers are knocked off the first round again. Heat number three, it's ready to go. You hit to the bottom. Fire, tracing into the draft. Okay. That's ready to go. Fire's the first one on. Come on, let's read the finish. Then again, no one has so far. And it's only the first round. If they advance out of this, they're going to want enough energy so that they can try to win the finals. Raspberry Racers looking strong until they make, until they go kind of wide there. And now they're settling in. It's going to be the Raspberry Racers and the Minty Maniacs advancing for 10th place. So, well, uh, Phoenix Firepower are out. As well as the third place team in the championship. Indigo Stars can't do it in this event. Of Edmund Lines, Slimers, Team Momo, and Bumble Bees, and also the committee has announced that if you, even if you fall off the board, it doesn't matter, it's how far you go. But being on the board helps because falling off the board is six and you can prove that while you're on the board. But either way, it is allowed. Just for the athletes' purposes. In case of that were to happen. Team Momo takes a hit there. Oh, and Animal Alliance is not going to be it. It's now Limers. They can just hold off Bumblebees and Team Momo Limers advance. They have a chance now at Animal Alliance, who are just not looking good in this event. That's not the performance you want to see from Lava. So now our first heat of the bottom half has the Sunrises, the Thunderbolts, the Chocolatiers, and the Robo Rollers. Chocolatiers, you nearly finished there, but now they that larger lift, I tell you, it's dangerous in Thunderbolts. Because they take a fall, but they go relatively far. This thing's going to be in some kind of sunrise go. So actually, falling off the board does not look that bad. It's just it costs you when you go lateral, then you could go farther ahead and you can finish there. 
And who's ahead between the two of these? Last lunch by the Bull Rulers is not enough. The sun rises advance with the Thunderbolts in the 9th to 12th spot. So now we have Fire. Then we have Indy. We have Llama Legend and Mo. No. Crossed by the defensive lineers in that last heat. Is he, now let's see what Mo can do in this one. Llama Legend has enough speed to get onto the board. Fire stuck. Okay, and with Mo there, it means that Llama Legend wins the heat because everybody else did not actually uh, necessarily finish it right. So it's going to be Llama Legend and Phoenix Fire Power Advancing. So now we have our 13th to 16th place matchup. Kino was a little bit slow out the gate. Hopefully, that doesn't translate to a bad result. Four of them could still have high their receives. Chocolatiers and Roll Rolls are the first to go. And both of them get similar runs. Oh, and Team Momo finishes. That's a smart strategy by Momo. He waited for the to all be there so they would have a clean pass ahead. Don't worry about someone being under tail. And Team Momo is going to win the. 13th place, that only means 13th place, so three points. Then two to Chocolatiers, one to Rebel Rollers, and none to the Indigo. So now we have a 9th to 12th place matchup. The game alliance, a top 9 finish in this event, means that they will be the first team to 100 points. However, otherwise, it means that another team might be able to beat them. So they have to win this match to get there. The sun rises. Try to block off Phoenix Firepower, but Phoenix Firepower come back. If Thunderbolts have stopped, they're in front of Animal Alliance at the moment. That could change if Phoenix Firepower tries to dust me. They don't have the energy to. And they're going to be able to remain ahead of Animal Alliance, but Thunderbolts take ninth place. And the first 100 points is still open. So we have our first semi final matchup ready to go. Off and forward they are, and leading the race. We have the phasers. And then fall by cobalts, they're knocked off. Uh, Glen glaciers. And then turtle sliders, they come next. And turtle sliders are trying to make sure they can just stay in front and maybe not hit the hazers, which is exactly what they do. Commentators curse and the Glen glaciers and the hazers. Uh, who, who, who's in front? That decides who goes into the final, and I can't tell who's out in front. I'm not sure if there's ever. Uh, I'm not sure if there's even a way to decide this. The judges are gonna have to take a closer look and see who is ahead between the two of them. So after they looked over, it was so close, but by a hair, it was the Hazers, and they will be at the. Now let's see. Oh, this has the bottom two teams, as well as the Limers, one of third place. Who wants it more? So far, it's the team Maniac, speed-wise. Guys, the racers large their lips, but they fall back. Limers, a danger falling back to use a, a, a stilt there to break their fall off the board. To make sure that if they are still in play officially, they don't lose out to Raspberry Racers and they beat them in Team Maniac. So the Bumblebees and the Limers are advancing to the. So now our fifth through eighth place matchup. Let's see who's gonna take it. So Raspberry Racers are trying to make a move on Torres Sars. The Glyn Glaciers are gonna be the first one in. And the Glyn Glaciers finish, and Glyn Glaciers will take fifth place. That's a lot. I feel like Glyn Glaciers get a lot of fifth place. Oh, Team Maniacs, they almost get. 6th place, and then they roll back, and they're going to be in 8th place. Now the battle for 6th place, double digit points, exactly 10. Raspberry Racers briefly fall back, but they're able to use the turtle sliders who have stopped, and they take 6th place. So now we have our final four, and these are very interesting. So you have the mid-pack Cobalt, who happen to have one gold medal, and it's the Marble who got them that gold medal. That is here in this heat. You have Limers and Hazers, two teams, separated by seven points, and are two of the main targets in second and fourth place who can try to track down Animal Alliance, and one of which, which are the Limers. If they get a gold in this event, they take the lead away from Animal Alliance. And then you have the last place, Bumble Boots, who have done absolutely nothing. And three of those teams are going to be coming away with some medal. Who are they? Gonna be. We'll start off with the Bumblebees, the Cobalt. 
the bumblebees, they've fallen off, and they're not going to be able to come away with some metal. So the speeds of other chiefs actually have to try to work around their strategies. Limers, cobalt, no are struggling. No heaters try to come back. And that's a gold medal for the Cobalts. Slimers grab silver and Hazers grab bronze. And that's going to benefit both of them a lot in the standings. And the Bumblebee's at least come away with fourth, so they'll be able to beat the Raspberry Racers. And, uh, and the Chocolatiers. No, no, no. They won't be able to beat the Chocolatiers. They need a medal. But hey, they finally climb out of last. Here's a quick notebook recap of your results in the shop put your new overall standings. Just five points separating Animal Alliance and the Limers. Then the Hazers are 12 points back at the Limers, but they can still do something. They actually have the most medals of anyone, but none of them being gold. Klein Glaciers have one medal, and yet they're not too far off the Hazers. Cobalt are one point in back of Klein Glaciers with two gold medals, both from Cerulean. Then Indigo Stars, T Momo, and Thunderbolt around at the top half. Then here's a look at the rest of the standings. Chocolatiers have a bronze medal, are in 15th place, and the Bumblebees did not climb out of last because the Raspberry Racers and, and the Chocolatiers did well enough. And the Chocolatiers would hold the tiebreaker because they have the bronze, but still, it's really falling off for the Chocolatiers. At least the Raspberry Racers and the Bumblebees picked something up in this event. So now, we head up to our fourth place, B of the Bumblebees. Third place, Foggy, the captain of the Hazers. Second place, Slime Lime of the Limers. And your winner, Cerulean of the Cobalts. Well, thank you, athletes, for competing. Thank you for watching. I'm Cole Justin. Be checking out.